Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! Oh my gosh, Happy New Year because I haven't actually filmed a video in 2024 yet. I've uploaded videos in 2024 which was left over from Vlogmas but haven't actually filmed one so happy new year i'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while since i've uploaded i'll explain later on about that i thought i'd jump straight into the video explain what's going on it's a very exciting one today i'm actually buzzing about it so today i will be eating only pancakes for the day yes baby so we've got pancake day coming up next week or shrove tuesday as it's otherwise known and i love pancake day i absolutely adore it i think it's actually one of my favorite days of the year it reminds me of my childhood when i would literally eat about 10 pancakes all in one night and feel absolutely pig sick but it was always worth it i never regretted it so i thought a great way to celebrate would be to eat only pancakes for the day so there are actually so many different options with pancakes american pancakes scotch pancakes crepes savory pancakes there's so many different options yeah obviously we're going to start with breakfast so i guess let's jump straight into it okay i know this is a bit of a cop out but i will be using these pancake mixes it's just so much quicker and easy i'm also intrigued to see how nice they are in comparison to just like making your own mix this morning i'll be having classic pancakes and i'm actually going to be having the pancake with spinach egg and a harissa yogurt so i found this recipe on bbc good food it looked really really nice i don't know if it's gonna actually taste nice so the pancake itself is actually a spinach pancake and then you have the egg and harissa yogurt on top a very savory pancake it looked really nice in the recipe in the picture but we'll see i'll also link all the recipes by the way that i use down below in the description in case you want to use them oh my gosh it smells like pancakes ah! whoa green pancakes baby Right, on goes the Harissa yogurt. I'm just gonna dollop some of that on top in the hopes that it's nice. Cool, what a bizarre little pancake combo, but it's nice to have something a little bit different actually. And then last but not least, the egg. I used to be really good at poaching eggs, but recently I feel like, oh, oh. So they say to put nigella seeds on top. I have no clue what that is. So I thought I'd put some poppy seeds on instead. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. It actually looks a lot, lot nicer than I thought it was gonna. I'm just gonna break the egg. Look at that. That looks so good actually. Oh, yummy. Oh my gosh, this is really nice. It's not as crappy as I thought. Crappy. Oh, the Harissa yogurt has got a kick. Yeah, because in my head, American style pancakes are like these thick ones and then crepes are the thin ones that you have of like lemon and sugar and stuff. But I could be wrong. Oh gosh, this Harissa yogurt is so good. It's got such a nice kick to it and with the egg as well, it just really, really works. Mmm, it's just so bizarre having savoury pancakes. We used to have them quite a lot when I was younger and I never liked them. I was like, no. Honestly, my taste buds used to be terrible when I was younger. Like, obviously they mature over time, but I was so fussy. Egg and pancakes, ma'am. The way forward. And also, this is probably quite good for you because there is a lot of spinach in there. And obviously you've got the egg as well. So it's probably got a lot of nutritional value and greek yogurt as well so why have i been away <laughs> well i haven't even been away for that long to be fair i feel like so many youtubers do that where they're like oh my god i'm so sorry i've been away and it's been like a week <laughs> you're like didn't notice not gonna lie um 
I've just been taking a step back because life has been quite busy, work has been very busy and I just haven't really had the time to film and also Vlogmas was just so crazy that I was a bit burnt out by it. Oh my gosh, that is actually so good. Spinach pancakes, who would have thought? Yeah, BBC Good Food literally had a massive section for just pancake day. It was incredible. I was honestly like, ooh, I had so many options. That weren't too bad. I'd really recommend that recipe, actually. Now that that's all finished, I will see you at lunchtime and hopefully I'll be... <laughs> i'll be dressed by then also it's daft season which is already making february so much nicer because look at those guys i love daffodils they're just the prettiest spring is on its way hello so i am back it is lunchtime i'm very ready for some lunch pancakes for lunch today i have got scotch pancakes these are from sainsbury's they actually taste the difference they are blueberry pancakes they look like so i love these types of pancakes when i was a kid i always used to have these for breakfast with a little bit of butter or like chocolate spread on top they're so good and i especially really liked the blueberry ones so i'm so excited to have these again i saw though that they do do quite a few flavors they do chocolate and salty caramel at sainsbury's and i think lemon as well which i've definitely had before and is also really nice let's go get some blueberry pancakes oh the smell mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. it's not even my earworm it's yours and you've given it to me <laughs> okay so this is what my lunch looks like we've got the peanut butter and banana one here and then i've put some cinnamon on top and then i was gonna have just butter on the other one but we didn't actually have any well we did have butter but it wasn't it was in the fridge so it was rock solid i've actually put some lemon curd on it because i feel like blueberries and lemon curd are quite a good mix but yeah so i'm quite excited they smell at absolutely incredible i love the smell of blueberries i think it's so nice we are back in my favorite spot let's get going i don't know which one to start with really mm. oh my gosh that's so good with the lemon curd as well i feel like it's actually the lemon curd that's making that really nice mm. right, i'm gonna have banana i thought i was gonna prefer the peanut butter I think I prefer the lemon. The lemon goes so nicely. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That lemon curd is homemade. I feel like that is really making that. Guys, comment down below if you have any New Year's resolutions. Have I said that on my channel before? The lemon curd is so much nicer. I think because the peanut butter is so dry, the whole thing is quite dry. Also, yes, we are still using the peanut butter from Christmas. <laughs> I used some in baking recently. I made, oh my gosh, I made a Ferrero Rocher peanut butter banana cake. And I know that's a lot of things all in one, but it actually went really well. If I do say so, so. <laughs> I just think with New Year's resolutions, the idea is great, but whenever I've done them in the past, it's never worked. Or at least I've done it for a month, and then by February, I've kind of given it up. Mm, actually... The more I eat the peanut butter, the better it gets. And it goes very well with the banana. Also, I'm very much of the mindset that if you're going to make any changes in your life, do it now. Literally just do it now. Like today, this very second. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. In the past, especially when I was growing up, literally tried to make so many changes in my life, but I'd always do it like the next day or the next week or the coming monday i'd never do it in the moment it just never worked for me so if i truly want to make a change in my life i'll just do it in the there and then because i mean i started the gym in december which i feel like is a very bizarre time to be starting i can't get this bit of banana on my spoon a very bizarre time to be starting the gym mm -mm -mm. i just love pancakes i was thinking oh maybe i'll get a bit sick of them today but i just don't think i will there's so many different varieties of them. It doesn't feel like you're eating the same thing over and over. Is anyone watching... I don't know why I'm saying that like you're going to respond. Is anyone watching Love Island All Stars? Because I am and I'm loving it. This year, it's good. It's real good. I've been very, very invested. And I love those shows that you like look forward to of a day. That is definitely one of them for me at the moment. 
I've also just finished The Tourist, which is on BBC. Also very good. And I've started Emily in Paris on Netflix. Mm, mm, mm. I am obsessed with this lemon and blueberry one. Overall, the texture was lovely. It was very fluffy. I'd have them again. I am about to make dinner, basically. Oh, fair enough. This camera has a mind of its own. I am going to be making American style pancakes. And I have never made these before. I've never had them before. Well, maybe I've had like the actual pancakes American style, but I've never had bacon on pancakes. I don't think. So I'm going to go make myself some American style pancakes. I'm going to put some bacon on it. I'm going to put some blueberries on it because that was popular theme with bacon on pancakes with blueberries as well and then obviously maple syrup as well i like trying new stuff so who knows this might be my new favorite thing it's like the mcdonald's sausage pancakes like that to me just seems a bit odd like the fact that you'll have pancakes and then just a random sausage patty but also i probably would eat it and enjoy it This is the result and actually it smells really nice. So I'm actually really excited. Although I was fussing around with the lighting and like the camera angle and stuff for so long that I think it's actually stone cold now. But I am really flipping excited. I might actually do another drizzle of the maple syrup just because it seems quite dry. Get lots of maple syrup. And I'm not like a big baking gal. Like, it's not my go-to, really. Bacon sandwich, I'll take it or leave it. Sausage sandwich, I'll take it. Mmm. <laughs> no, do you know what? I need to stop shaming. That is gorgeous. It's the blueberries that are throwing me off. It's just so random. Mmm. Oh my gosh, why is the lighting so bizarre? There we go, that's better. I feel like I'm going to end up using this whole thing. Also, I was watching Hannah Marlin, she's one of my fave YouTubers at the moment, because she's done so many food challenges and food videos, and for some reason I just find them so interesting. Anyway, so I had her on today, and she was, it was the one where she follows the Rocks diet, I'll link it down below, and she had pancakes. And she was just saying, what is the point in this little thing? And I was like, hmm. Honestly, what is the point? This little handle, it's not, it's not like it actually really works. I'll back you up on that one. I maybe did a little too many pancakes, but... Mmm. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have it for dinner again. I feel like for dinner it's a little bit of a, a weird combination. Okay, if you're going to comment anything down below, it needs to be your favourite pancake topping. Because that is a good good question if ever i heard it because i love lemon and sugar i think there's something great about a lemon and sugar crepe but then like a bit of like biscoff spread or like white chocolate or nutella i used to have ice cream actually in my crepes mm. also i'm sorry guys i did fail slightly because i have taken uh, uh, just spat everywhere i'm so sorry i did take a plate of roast dinner it's actually stone cold now, but it's still incredible. Why is roast dinner just the best? I don't know how people do like the proper food challenges. Like, I was watching, I think his name's Mac Does Fitness. Is that his name? I may have just made that up. He does crazy food challenges. Like, there was one video, he just eats chocolate for the day. How? Literally, how? It's beyond me. I like blueberries with pancakes, I like bacon with pancakes, but I don't think they go together to be honest. What I said earlier about not getting sick of pancakes, I'm sick of them. <sighs> Last but not least, I have got a lemon and sugar crap it had to be done it just had to be done i don't think i could do this video without having one of these i've got love island on i definitely could have done this for longer but i didn't want to miss love island mm. i remember having my first ever lemon and sugar crap and i was the ground age of five four we had it at school and i was like lemon and sugar that's gross 
I remember having it and being like, ooh, this ain't too bad. Mmm. I've enjoyed this video, but I do feel like a weird, like my body just feels weird. I feel full, but not full. Like I can't put my finger on it. I'm glad I've done it. Probably won't be doing it for a while. Last bite. With those American style pancakes. I don't know if I did them right. I would like to try proper American style pancakes from a restaurant or even America. I didn't really enjoy it. I wouldn't choose it again, I don't think. When I compare it to the blueberry ones I had at lunch, it doesn't compare. So I'm going to sign off the video here. I hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye, guys.